Is there is a fascinating story that is sure to tick off all the kids out there. There could be employing America's millennials, those born between 1983 and 1993. Could be a drag on the economy. A new survey released exclusively to us here at CNBC today says this. It costs companies between 15000 and 25000 every time a millennial changes jobs. And those that can get jobs are changing jobs a lot. These studies show these kids have no qualms about not only changing jobs, but going to your direct competitor. Joining us now, one of the authors of the survey, Dan Schwabel, founder of Millennial Branding, a generation research and consulting firm, if that's even a word, Dan. Um, I don't know. You know Happy this, to be here. This is the kind of, I'm stuck in the middle, right? Because my, it's the kind of story that my dad, who lost his job when I was 14, you know, he and he struggled to fight. He would be so incensed about the job hopping nature of the millennials, but I'm sort of in the middle. What's the survey say? The survey says, 45% of companies are experiencing high turnover for millennials. And if you compare to the previous research we've done, millennials leave in two years, whereas boomers leave in, in 10 years. So it's completely different the way they look at it. And, the, and what we found was millennials are looking for a strong corporate culture. And that's what HR professionals are seeing, is that they need to build a strong culture in order to support millennials. Workplace flexibility programs, entrepreneurship programs, and, and really connecting your company with a cause. And that's what they care about. How about like working, getting paid, a job is a privilege, not a right? support your family, support the economy? Is there any of that in there or is it all like, I want you know all these training programs and to support a cause? Well, if you look at the unemployment rate, it's twice as much, more than twice as much for millennials. That's Which 16. means they 1%. theoretically should be twice as happy to have hey, a job. Hey, hang on, Dan. Uh, Brian, I think what Brian's getting at, and this is what Andrea, the producer of the show, was trying to say. I don't know if we have a picture of her in the back. She thinks these are spoiled brats. That's what we're talking about here, Dan. Is that what your survey is finding? Are these spoiled brats here? Absolutely not. They choose meaningful work. That's what I said. Workplace flexibility over a higher salary. It's not as important compared to older generations. And so we work with Beyond.com, and we found that if this is really going to be a huge issue for companies because not only does it cost between fifteen and twenty, you know, five thousand dollars to replace each millennial, but you know, in the next you but, know, next year, thirty six percent of the US workplace will be millennial, so it's gonna be a huge issue for companies what the, moving I mean, so forward. So if, if it costs fifteen to twenty five thousand dollars in total cost to a company for somebody to change jobs Right. I mean, there's got to be some loyalty there. Do they not realize that? Because that hurts other people at the company. When they got when a company has to spend money on somebody who comes in for eight months and leaves, that's a raise somebody's probably not getting. That's a job that's probably not going to be hired up. Two out of every five people on the planet live on less than a dollar a day. The problem is, is that a lot of these companies are living like it's 1960 and they haven't changed the process because we're always connected. When you go home from work, when you're on vacation, you're connected to the workplace through your friends, mm. through your coworkers, and through business email. And so why shouldn't there be workplace flexibility? Why shouldn't companies well, I agree with Nobody's not saying there force. shouldn't be workplace flexibility. I mean, we all live on our smartphones these days. I'm just talking about the concept of lo should, a, how about this, Dan? Should a 28-year-old be loyal to the company that he or she works for? I agree, but I think there needs to be a new employment contract, whereas millennials have to be accountable for their jobs and show results. And the results are the most important thing. Is this person delivering? And if they're not, they should leave, right? But if it's the right corporate culture and they have the work ethic, then they should be embraced and promoted, and it shouldn't be based on age. Yeah, and I just want to know one thing. You would expect at younger ages people to leave and have spend less time at a particular place. Is there any evidence that this generation is more likely to leave sooner than a previous generation at the same age? There is no evidence, but I think, you know, it's obvious. You think about what it was like decades ago where I left one jobs person every would six stay months, the same company Dan. for life and retire. I left jobs every six months. It was, it was like I couldn't find but, the right place for a while, and I'm not <laughs> really sure why I've stayed. But anyway, that's another story. But <laughs> we're yeah. wondering the same thing. <laughs> you're, you're, you're definitely, but but yeah, as, I mean, as a young person, you're, you're, like, you're that an doesn't outlier. Work, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. And so you move on to you find a place that works. Yeah, you find the right corporate culture uh -huh. that's going to support you and your, your, your ambitions, and you'll stay with them longer if you find that. So companies need to do a better job of finding the right people in the, be in, in the first place rather than just hiring 
you know, just hiring yeah. based on a resume. There needs to be a, a complete it's, picture it's a of good, that person. Dan, and you find a, that online. It's a good, listen, it's a good discussion. I feel like, thank you, by the way, for a good segment and also making me feel like an old man. I'm going to go home and watch Matlock now. But get off my lawn, Dad. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much. Dan Shaw. Thank you so, so much, much for having got me. Some, got some breaking news from Tyler Matheson.